Dude, where's my phone? Despite this somewhat humorous title, the content in this video is anything but. It depicts the unaccountability of individuals who claim to work for you and me. Let's start at the beginning. On March 3rd, 2010, four men beat up another guy outside a bar here in Manchester, New Hampshire. The four men happened to be off-duty cops. The chief unsurprisingly backed his men. A few months later, city solicitor Tom Clark sided with the chief. A year later, in May of 2011, New Hampshire's Attorney General Michael Delaney admitted that while it was not Manchester Police Department's finest hour, he announced that his office would not pursue charges against the four men. Really? Do you think the situation would have ended any differently if one off-duty cop would have been beaten up by four off-duty construction workers or off-duty mechanics or anyone without a badge? A week after the Attorney General's announcement, 40 individuals gathered outside the Manchester Police Department to express their displeasure at the unaccountability faced by the four aggressors. I was among those present. After a while, John Patty initiated the arrest of some of the 40 present for chalking. They were later charged with graffiti and criminal mischief. Remember, this is public property. They had asked those of us still on the sidewalk to walk north on Chestnut Street out of the way of their investigation, which was a detective taking pictures of the chalk. As I continued to walk back, I asked them, how far is far enough? Where do we have to go? How is this an investigation? And think, you know, just questions. Uh, at one point, the police officers in the line in front of us stopped, and myself and the other folks that I was with stopped. We were well past the chalk, and I was just it, having a conversation with the, with the uh, people present, again, asking them to think about their actions, asking them to, to question this monopoly of force that they work for. On John Patty's order, I was arrested. I was charged with disorderly for... A couple weeks later, I found I was charged with a second disorderly. Again. I was told I was part of a group that had engaged in certain conduct that they felt was disorderly. All told, eight individuals were arrested that day. Also, eight cameras and phones were taken that day. Not a single receipt was issued. Anybody that was videotaping this one? Anybody that was videotaping it out there? Take the cameras. Take the cameras. Take the cameras. Take the cameras. I have not impeded any traffic. I have not been. Uh, am I free to go? Am I free to go? Am I free to go? No, you're not. Why? You're being detained. Why? And 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 what does that constitute? Two five to Sergeant Patty. What have I done today that that you have the right to to restrict my freedom of movement? Do you not have an answer? J D U C H E S N E. We're gonna need to seize that, those cameras yes. right now. Yes, sir. What do you? Yes, sir. I'll take that too. You, you have to get it. You can't wait for the search warrant to seize it because you have to get it because it could be altered. That's <laughs> very specific. Um, Included in this eight was a point-and-click camera that we have, a video camera that we have, and my phone, which unfortunately I can't show you. It's the purpose of this video. The Manchester Police Department claimed to have never taken my phone. It's my uh, on Saturday, I had uh, my video camera, a Canon just, just like this, taken from me. I had a point-and-click, um, and, and I had a, uh, my phone, my Samsung phone. Yeah, um, on that day, I was not given a receipt. I asked when I could get it back. They told me Monday the technician comes in and they can have the footage and then I could be on my way. I mean, honestly, this is our livelihood so, and we didn't hurt, I didn't hurt anybody that day. But, um, I didn't right damage here, any property that um, day. That was, I think, I'm a peaceful person and my camera was stolen from me. My phone was stolen from me. I have no way to communicate with people. Mm. Why don't we come back tomorrow and uh, we'll discuss it with detectives and see what they can do about it. I made countless phone calls to the Manchester Police Department, to John Patty, and to other supervisors over there, and also to Greg Muller, who works at the Office of Solicitor here in Manchester. I even showed up at a city council meeting. Um, I was one of the eight people arrested on Saturday. I'd like to say that uh, I know myself and all, everybody else that was there. I did not see anybody harm any person or property. I did not see any reason why anybody should have been arrested or their property be seized right now. My camera, two of my cameras, and my cell phone had been stolen by the Manchester PD. I had gone, I was told I could pick it up Monday, I went there Monday, they told me to come back Tuesday, I went there Tuesday, they told me to come back Friday. So, I just like to say, I mean, we're, 
we're all, I think, all working for the same thing. We want to live in a peaceful, prosperous society, you know, that's safe. And what the question is then, how do we best get there? And right now, the, the, the at least what I've seen for the Manchester Police Department, the individuals that I've interacted with, there's some good people there that, that uh, you know, on an individual level seem, seem to know what's going on. But some other folks um, far exceed, uh, they, they have, uh, engage in actions that would, that would be considered wrong for you or me to engage in. They don't have the extra rights because they have badges. <laughs> I just wonder if you had a moment to uh, discuss what happened on Saturday. Actually, I don't. Excuse I don't me. To, excuse me. Res respectfully, I don't wish to speak to you about it. Okay. Your colleagues claim that they never had taken my phone, so either it was lost or stolen, and I don't know what recourse I have. So that's my one of my um, motivations to get the policy on if receipts should be issued when property is taken. Yeah. As far as the receipt issue, uh, we don't have a anything in place for receipts. So what you were told is that we just don't, we don't, you know, whether or not we should, there's a whole other issue. At one point, Greg communicated to me that everyone who was arrested had to call and verbalize that it was okay for the property to be released. Then I was told that everyone who was arrested had to communicate in writing that it was okay that the property be released. Keep in mind that not all those arrested had property taken and all those who had property taken weren't arrested. Pretty intuitive, I know. After almost two months, of being without my property, it was returned. Well, two thirds of it was returned. I want to let you know you're being recorded. Um, I'm here to meet with Dave in the uh, evidence room to uh, get some property back that was stolen last month. You guys still stand by your actions that day? Well, well of course. It's like, well, I mean, you yourself. Are you, you happy how you acted that day? Well, of course. It's like, yeah. Okay, can I have your item, please? You Print your name there, please, and send them. What about the. Um, the Galaxy phone, uh, Samsung, we do not have. There was no Galaxy phone. We have a list of all the uh, property that we had in this case for phones and cameras. I researched all the search warrants we have for the cameras and phones, and there's no existence of a Galaxy a Samsung phone. Nope, I wonder. Either it was an accident on somebody's part, it was lost or set aside, okay. or it was it was intentional, intentionally stolen, and someone's walking around with my phone. Okay. So you you are telling me you haven't seen that at all? Yes. Would you, would you say the same? You have no. I have no clue. Cool, and you haven't heard anybody talking about this. You have you have no knowledge. Of I did all the paperwork for all the phones. That's all we have. Is what's in the. You have no knowledge. Of it's whereabouts. Zero. I can show that I did have my phone in my possession on June 4th while at the protest. Have you thought about quitting your job if we do such a great job? I have money. That doesn't even make sense. Well, <laughs> your job is paid for by stolen money. And if you if you claim to protect people, your job inherently doesn't do that because okay. it victimizes Listen, people. you're obviously much smarter than me. I can't keep up with you. Logic, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you doing? so what are you doing? You know, we went on this long spiel about how, like, I'm like, is this the best use of your time? Are there actual crimes being committed nice. or unsolved in this city? You know, I said, you're my you're public servant. The Manchester PD claimed that there are no cameras in the booking area where our property was taken from us when being processed. They also have failed to turn over any surveillance footage from their exterior mounted cameras, five of which are on the north side of the building and at least two on the south side. So I'm still facing two charges for doing nothing wrong that day, just part of the harassment by those who don't want us bringing to light their unaccountability and their actions, and their aggressive actions towards others. I'll be in Manchester District Court on October 24th in front of Judge William Lyons who himself is a former cop and prosecutor. What can I do to get some accountability? Not much, except for making this video and making public the situation and how it unfolded. From intentional speech, proclaim short sure. At conventions, Mr. Mention with no vengeance, I'm free The same door, I've been knocking on for desperate need The same floor, I've been crashing on for nesh in my sleep The same phone, they be tapping on explodes in a beat The same floor, I've been dropping for the messes I teach